Welcome to MEC 2020 Statics and Dynamics Tutorial 4. Today the tutorial topic is Equilibrium of Rigid Bodies. In this tutorial we will cover Newton's Third Law, Reactions at Supports and Connections, Equilibrium of Rigid Bodies and Two Force Members, and Equilibrium of Three Force Members. Let's begin this tutorial with a review of Newton's Third Law. Newton's third law states that for every a force on an object, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In statics, since the net forces and moment is zero in all directions, external forces on an object result in internal and reaction forces. In dynamics, Newton's third law results in motion of an object in addition to inertial resistance to the initial force. Here are some examples on Newton's third law. To stretch a rope, you must have forces acting on both ends of the rope, pulling away from each end. By Newton's third law, the reaction forces must have the same magnitudes but act in opposite directions. The reactions in this case are the tension forces, as shown here. Here we have a moving car. The friction from the, car, from the tar tire's rotation acts on the ground and acts in the opposite direction to the tangential velocity rotation on the bottom of the wheel. The reaction force of the friction acts in the opposite direction of this friction, and this friction causes the car to move. In this course, we need to deal with different kinds of reactions at supports and connections in both two- and three-dimensional space. Generally, there are three main types of reactions. The first type is the reaction support equivalent to a force with a known line of action, such as a roller or a rocker. As the line of action is known, there is often only one unknown to solve. The second type is the reaction equivalent to a force of unknown direction and magnitude. This type involves two unknowns and one typical example is a frictionless pin or hinge, shown here. Most of these cases will cover it. The third type is a reactional equivalent to a force and a moment couple. And the most common example is the fixed support. A reference table can be found in the MEC 2020 textbook section for useful reference pages. Now we'll combine all the concepts we have learned so far. For the equilibrium of a rigid body, or static equilibrium, the summation of all the force and moment components in the x and y directions must equal zero. Let's do a problem about rigid body equilibrium. Please pause the video and take five minutes to attempt this problem yourself. Now that you have attempted this problem yourself, we'll go over our approach. First, we'll draw a free body diagram before we try to do anything else in the question. Since A is a roller support and B is a spin support, there is only one unknown for A and two unknowns for B. We arbitrarily assign the Y components of the A and B reactions to be upwards which can be proven or disproven to be upward later. Since the direction of B is unknown, we can split the direction of B into X and Y components. To deal with this kind of problem, we need to apply the conditions of equilibrium. The summation of force in the X direction is zero, so the reaction direction of B only depends on the Y direction forces. Then we can take the moment at A and B to be equal to zero to get two equations for D. From the two expressions and a little bit of algebra, we can conclude the range of D. So what are some common features of forces in rigid body equilibrium, say among a certain number of forces? As shown in the figure, the condition of equilibrium of the two force body is that two forces must have the same line of action at magnitude, but act in opposite directions. Here is a simple proof of this concept. As the summation of force must be zero, 
two forces must be in same magnitude and opposite direction by mathematics. From the summation of moments, the perpendicular distance of two forces equal to zero, so that they do not form a force couple. Therefore, the two forces must align in the same line of action. Well, what about rigid bodies of, with three forces? The e condition of equilibrium of the three-force body is that the lines of action of three forces must either be concurrent, all three mutually intersect at the same point, or parallel in order to satisfy the summation of force and moment equations. These conditions for the three-force case extend to cases of more than three forces as well. Now let's cover 3D reactions and supports. There are four main types of 3D reactions, a force with a known reaction direction, two force components, three force components, and three force components with a moment couple. This course will mainly utilize supports with two force components and three force components. Rigid body equilibrium in 3D involves the same balance of moment and force equations as in 2D, but includes a new Z component in both equations. Here we have another problem on equilibrium of rigid body. Please pause the video and take a few minutes to attempt this problem yourself. Now that you have attempted this problem yourself, we'll go over our approach. We need to draw a free body diagram first before solving the question. There are three forces with nine unknowns, the components of the two tensions and the pin reaction. Since there are too many unknown variables, we require more equations than the force equilibrium. We need to take the moment to solve this problem. We need to first find the vector forms and the lengths of cable AD and AE. After finding the vector form of the tension, we can take the moment equilibrium about C to get two equations from the X and Y components of the moment. So here is the first step I mentioned here, and here is the second step. Solving these two equations gives the tension relation of AE and AD, and therefore the magnitudes of AE and AD. Then we can calculate the force equilibrium in the x, y, and z directions to find out the reaction components at C. And from here, it's just a simple matter of substitution. This marks the end of tutorial four of MEC 2020 Statics and Dynamics. The topic of the next tutorial will be analysis of truss structures. If you have any additional questions on the content featured here, you may email your course professor or tutorial instructor. Until then, goodbye.